it's like because I'm sharing it the the button the nice easy to see button becomes one of 20 things in a drop down menu and right it's right. never in the same place because no. designers <laughs> got to change that stuff to make it easier to find at the at the current time record is actually the first item in the 20 item drop down list moved from somewhere in the top middle or bottom middle over time so here we are and we have uh, four, three new metrics to develop, uh, CI event build time, event count, activity dates and times. So we've come to the spreadsheet to see um, if we have build, where's, I did a control F, but we're, oops, okay, control F, build, not in there. CI, well, that's just going to sh... All right, so it looks like the metrics that we need are three new ones that are not even envisioned before. CI build time, event count, and activity dates and times. Um, Sean, do we know what is meant by activity from um, the metric models group? Do we have like more context around that? I think them? we do, yeah. Okay. Let's go get that. All right, so for, so apparently this is a metric activity dates and times already i don't know what under under what work group it exists but not evolution maybe common I probably like that usually yeah. if it's not an evolution but it seems like it might ought to be it's under common um um So uh, this activity. So I guess this one. Time. I guess this does already exist, which is why it okay. probably doesn't have new. What I don't. It seems it seems a working group of recent worked on it. Say because that again. I think the last. I think it, one of the working groups were working on it. If it exists, uh, how long has it existed? I don't. I'm not sure about that. Um, well, we can check. So this was released in 2020, 2021 in uh, whatever metrics release this was okay this was licensed in 2020 it's the first release of 2020 uh with the release freeze was january 1st and the metric release date was january 31st so basically this predates the pandemic by a month <laughs> and uh, has been two years out there in different forms. So it's been there, it's been there for a while. Okay. And I think actually, so I had written down three, but it looks like this actually exists already. So yeah, I think so. Event count and CI build time are two metrics we need to build. Uh, 
event locations. Event locations is all right. So I am presuming actually that these are, oh, okay. These are actually event count. These are um, conferences and meetups. So this is, I wonder if event count can be derived from an existing metric, because if we have event location under common and it's released, There we go, event locations. Yes, if if we have event location, then I think you have, we can you just make a count. count. Yeah, yeah, this could just be a revision to event locations to allow the aggregation of all the event markers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so. Then one other thing we can just put as an emphasis on it is to try to regroup the event categories because some events are purely technical, some are social, not just social like drinking, but the kind of social <laughs> event. What are you saying yeah. about me, Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, okay, yeah, that gets good. Um, You know, like know some open that. source communities, they usually have this uh, high technical working meeting if they have to do any major release where only technical people meet, they make a speedy discussion. Some others, they bring in the companies to sell products, to socialize in that uh, high level. And each of them have their particular goal and objective. Yeah, you could also lump in hackathons or other kind yeah. of working things in, yeah. into one of the categories as well. Yeah. Or just mm -hmm. meetups. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is uh, just a modification to the current metric. It's a common metric. So I think it's totally fine if we take that on, like just updating a common metric. Should make a note that's from common. I don't think we have anything for CI build time. Okay. Watch the magic of our search begin. Uh, do we have anything yet on automation? In search? I feel, I mean, I feel like there is some build-ish things, but. Okay, time to close. Page not found. Wah, wah. Um, okay. So somehow the index needs to get rebuilt, but uh So time to close doesn't really cover the, um, the testing part though, right? The build. Yeah, but I think this we should is really issue put time that, to close, isn't it? Yes, but or I think I we it's... should really put that build time uh, separately. It's important to 
because at that point, so it's a you uh, see it as a separate metric, Armstrong, or do you see it as? I mean, yes. I see it as okay, me too. All right. No, I see it as a separate uh, metric because you know, time to close. There, there are humans in the loop, mm -hmm. and for example, you can start reviewing something on Monday. You skip Tuesday, Wednesday, and you continue on the next days of availability. Then to really know the active period while you were working on the particular, let's say, file or uh, task that we're doing, it's somehow challenging to know. But when a build process starts, it's pinned up until the moment it really closed. And then for, for some other interesting reasons, we may want to know why certain uh, codes are taking so much time to build and if they had to fail and all those kind of uh, rejects that they are keeping. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a good thing to keep them separate. Is that something that's easy to get from like GitHub or like where would you get that data from? No, from the build system, like the CICD system. For example, if you are using Jenkins, you are using Zool, any other build system you are using. I mean, that, most that of will, what, yeah, that's, it's somewhere that's like discoverable. Like you could grab that bit. So I think most of the places when you're getting build times, you're going to get it off of a platform, as you said, like GitHub or GitLab. So most of these build these CI tools generally have integrations with GitHub and GitLab. So that, like mm -hmm. for example, for Augur, we just I have Docker containers that get built on every push, so that I know that Augur continues to compile. I guess, I guess my question more is that, is that data stored somewhere? So like you could tell what the build time was from something in January versus uh, the build time, the version you're using now, is that stored? Good. It is, let me, um, okay. but the th question is, is it accessible? Even if it is not stored in a structured form, it's something that we can always mine I mean, it's something we have been doing in most uh, yeah. research before. Research. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I was trying to show an example. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. 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 Took 100, build took 161 seconds. Yep. And then the under auger, it's like uh, down here, you've got my Docker images. And it tells me they build in 15 minutes and 50 okay. seconds. And Does the API? expose that stuff so that's or... the, that is the question is um okay does so uh, does the api expose them so that's a good question um So this tells me here I need the run ID. Sean, scroll down a little, see if there's anything. Yeah. I'm at this. Yeah. I don't know. Here's workflow usage. It wouldn't be under branches, would it? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not.
I think list workflow runs might be the run started at. There's probably either we can get it out of the run started at, run ended at. All right, my belief is we can get it from this endpoint, though, list workflow runs. All right, and so then it comes, uh, we need to build the, metrics template. Yeah, we need to build a metric. Currently opening new windows after some point in time. My sister, it's my sister's birthday. I think I mentioned to Elizabeth, we're both terrified of clowns. And so whenever it's her birthday, I send her lots of clown pictures. <laughs> That's just the kind of You're awful. That's a good brother. I Jeez. am, right? <laughs> What does she send you on your birthday? Probably something nice like flowers. Clown or pictures. Clown. She, she sends me clown pictures. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Kind of I asked for it, right? That's it. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to be logical about this if I can be. Evolution. Are we putting metrics under working groups still when we create the drafts? Or I mean, in theory, it kind of, it's kind yeah. of scattershot. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it happens, but in theory, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to create this one here just to go outside the boundaries. And you have the metrics template, yeah, right there. Yep. And this is for, what's it called? CI build time. Thank you. All right, this is going to correct the grammar on that sentence. Uh, wow, definitive is spelled wrong. All right, so Armstrong, I don't know if you can work on this or not, but I'll put the link in chat just in case. Oops, apparently. Okay, yes, I uh, can put the link. Yep, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so question. Oh, I guess, uh, oops, I did my, Suggesting uh, 
I don't know that it's any. Okay, uh, Sean. Yeah. It's interesting uh, to think about uh, Mozilla, Fire, uh, these people, uh, Facebook, and I think, the, well, there are a couple of them. You know, they make around 50 releases per day, like a new version of their product. 50 a day, times a did day. you say? A day? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like anytime I push anytime I push anything to the main branch in Augur, like merge a PR or edit one file, it triggers the whole build process. Yeah. For, so so this, that's pretty typical yeah. that you would like any, essentially, if you've got a entire giant monolith of a corporation called Meta, uh, who's uh, invented the metaverse, not defined mm -hmm. it, just invented it. Um, <laughs> You're you're gonna have yeah tons of builds every day because it's all automated, so yeah. that makes that makes sense to me that they would have that because you've got mm -hmm. probably hundreds if not thousands of developers pushing to these repositories and probably triggering builds every time they do it. Like it sometimes I imagine on a project of that scale it gets to the point where they actually don't automatically build it every time. No, I mean, that's like the job of the release team after they have tested everything, they build and they deploy. Right. So, so it's always good to have because this number can escalate in some cases. Why in other cases, the number might be, uh, let's say, low. So yeah. we might find cases of outliers. And if we don't know how to interpret it in that context, then we might uh, represent them wrongly. So the, yeah, I think I hear what you're saying. There's, I'm just going to go to the auger one because it's just an example that, so for example, it takes, you know, right when I'm running, if I've updated a bunch of files, it'll run a whole bunch of them and that's, I have more limited resources. And so it takes longer for each of them to run. So auger takes like 15, 16 minutes at the outside and as little as 11 minutes when there's only one of them running although 18 mm -hmm. 19 minutes seems more typical so it, it's a essentially a function of the platform that i'm using to execute the build if i execute a build on my local server it's going to go a lot faster than it will will on shared resources on github but i think okay. i think we mean the shared resource version and mm -hmm. i mean auger auger is a hefty thing so i mean taking 16 minutes on a shared resource like GitHub doesn't, that doesn't seem that long to me <clears throat> for whatever that's worth. Okay. Um, I don't know if I was answering your question or responding to what you were saying. Yeah, I mean, it's in line with what we are saying because it's just good to keep those uh, rationale because at some cases you will see some numbers escalating, taking different shape and even different mm -hmm. kind of distribution. So we'll be able to understand uh, what is really happening, like the big picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have measuring traffic in terms of experience. Hey, Sean, I have an uh, unrelated question. Where yeah. did you grab the metric template from? I went to the top of the spreadsheet okay. and clicked on a... metrics template. Oh, this is not okay. the right metrics template? It, it's very close, but uh, I was just looking at the, the main one because I was going to fix that um, oh, typo. Okay. But it's already been fixed, so then I was like, oh, no. And the, I noticed too that the ethics document was not linked, and that's also linked in the metric. So I think those are the only real changes that I see. Yeah, if you um, can so just, I'll just take that link in the spreadsheet. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, fix the link in the spreadsheet, and yeah, it's like, uh, yep, that's where I got it from.
I'm just copying this API endpoint over here. I don't know if there's a, um, to your point, Armstrong, it is important to note that these, what were you saying? Like you could, you could, these build times may vary. Yeah, we can have the, a, a wide variety of uh, numbers, yeah. service and support. Okay. You know, what do you think of the definition? Can you read it, Armstrong? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some I don't know if we could also add in the rationale that our intention is to try to keep this build time as low as possible. Yeah. I mean, oh, yes. anyway, yeah, in yeah. other words, you have to say smaller values are, uh, are better. A better predict of, of yeah. Want me to get rid of that comma, I bet. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah. I don't even know if I see to say optimally. Say shorter build times are better for community engagement and support. <coughs> Um, yeah, you know, the only DEI effect is if, if a, like, uh, for example, one, one of the things I can see from working with our chaos Africa folks is that they have less bandwidth than I do at my gigabit fiber home mm -hmm. and so building auger takes longer because auger has to, and it would auger is not special like any of the chaos software projects will take longer because they all are downloading python libraries uh, over the internet as part of the installation process and so anytime somebody with a low bandwidth connection is installing auger it takes them considerably longer or grimoire lab or whatever any piece yeah. of any piece of software in our chaos universe takes longer because they have if your bandwidth is lower it takes longer to download stuff um mm -hmm. things i learned back when i had a modem although i'm not old enough to have had a modem yeah. i've heard about them that's good that's good to know because i, I think with this description we will try to see capture that in the communication or something overhead it's yeah. not really the fault of the the, the build system is not the fault of the local system, it's just the communication. Yep. Right, yeah.
Okay, let's see. So this is the this is just the disclaimer that you added in there, right, Elizabeth? Um, Sorry. Um, yes, I just added the link there. Yep, no problem. And I originally no thought that this did not have a DEI spin on it, uh, or or you know have any kind of relation to that. But your comment was absolutely valid and makes me think yeah. like, oh yeah, that's a, definitely something that could affect DEI for contributors. Yeah, and it's the local. It's the local build times. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the small knit, but yeah, it's, it's like any, it's like, so it's, I'm not entirely, because when I think about build times and I think about its effect on community service and support, I think that that's part of it that, that might be a factor. So we can check with the Asia Pacific group on Wednesday morning to sort of get a sense of, um, Yeah, you get a sense if we're on the right track here. I'll bring this proposed thing to them. Yeah, Sean, as you mentioned, the African uh, group. Yeah. Do you know if they are keeping any locks of the uh, interaction? That is, that is something that- Like build time? Great inter yeah. Like uh, to my knowledge, like, working with folks today even, I, I didn't, I don't think they're keeping a log anywhere it's something i observe when i'm helping folks okay. build, build things locally um okay. in a bandwidth constrained world which is you know different okay. obviously than the western mm -hmm. you know, fiber optic world where yeah. my little affluent butt lives because those kind of things i was thinking that uh, after a while like in the evolution working group, we can try to see how we could put resources together, even to make some good publications on how the evolution of the metrics and how we have been consumed. We can always have data to to publish our work within the working groups themselves. Well, like for example, um, let me see if I can find it here or if I got logged out. Um, oh, here it is. I'm just gonna we're kind of near the end of time so okay i'll just um so there's a like we could like for example in auger let me just uh i'm gonna take a side trip here for just a second mm -hmm. excuse me allergies uh there is a pip library called uh cli speed test and you can execute speed test on the command line Mm -hmm. and it will actually output a speed test for you. This is from my Ubuntu server, which for some reason I don't have full duplex functioning on, so the numbers are lower than usual. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is, okay. this is like a third, a third of a gigabit that it's getting on a server where it's not on full duplex on my local network that's actually making a ton of calls to the internet. And so this speed test library could be, for example, included in all implementations of chaos software. And mm -hmm. we could execute it as part of, a, of an install and ask people to optionally share their network performance information with us. And then we could, yeah. so we could accumulate, for example, network performance data that of course affects how quickly somebody in any part of the world can build something mm -hmm. now this this data also is going to tell us if somebody is in china or iran or the other three of the five countries the us is officially prohibited from doing exports to which is a small matter because open source is not an export yeah. according to the legal definition so uh, <laughs> um hmm. but there may be companies who don't want this data uh, and they can choose not to share it but 
if somebody shares it, we could start to accumulate. We could, so there's a there's a device through which we could begin to accumulate this information. Is my okay, point. that really sounds good. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Sean. Yeah, no problem. I will make a note of that um, mm -hmm. in the, uh, let's see, I'll make a note of that here. What did I do? Just, um, oh, I'm not sharing anymore. So this is now boring. Sorry. Um, speed test CLI. See, I remembered the name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Just put that in there for now, at least, so I don't forget that it exists. Mm -hmm. That's um, Yeah, and I think that uh, kind of brings us to the end here, but I think we great. Thank you for helping get this metric off the ground, Armstrong. Yeah, you're welcome, Sam. And um, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm going to stop recording. And